Let's talk about something that we British really don't like talking about, and it's what goes on down there. That is the bowels. And bowel function, we're taking constipation and IBS. And really, I think it's said that something like 20% of the population suffer from something called IBS or irritable bowel syndrome in some form or other. It seems to be a disease associated with the modern diet, the western diet, and the medical profession struggle to really understand what causes it. And it's very difficult to get to the cause because it may be a variety of factors and they're individual. But let's look at some of the things that can be helpful. And in my view, they have very far reaching um, abilities and so it's worthwhile persevering with them. Now, with IBS or problems with the bowel, you want to soothe it. You need to perhaps tone down its action. So start off with water, good spring water if you can. Drink plenty of it. Minimize taking in teas and coffees. Try and drink some herbals if you can. But water as water is very cleansing and very soothing. It's a good idea if you want to drink it, not always to drink it cold, but to boil some and have some at room temperature so the body can utilise it straight away instead of having to warm it up inside. Try and steer away from the so-called modern diet, processed foods, fast foods, which don't give you the nutrition that you really need because all the act of food processing, as well as the way it's grown, very often the nutrition that body needs just isn't there. Fresh fruit and fresh vegetables, maybe with some added enzymes, can be very helpful. Take the right type of fibre to aid peristalsis, the act whereby food is pushed through the system. And for that, the best type is psyllium husks. I know it's sold commercially on the market as something called fibre gel, but it's much less expensive to buy psyllium husk powder mix it up with water and it comes a form of jelly and you swallow it and it will help your peristalsis enormously. Aloe vera, which goes back to biblical times of course, also very good and with aloe you want to make sure you get not whole leaf but the inner leaf variety because that's very very soothing for the guts and reduces inflammation. Probiotics Yes, everyone's heard of probiotics these days, and we're talking there about things like Lactobacillus bulgaricus. Uh, you can buy probiotic drinks, but the best way is to actually take a probiotic capsule. The reason is that you'd have to eat gallons and gallons of yogurt to get the same amount of probiotic bacteria that you would get in a capsule, and that will help repopulate the gut with good bacteria. Finally, I would always mention B vitamins. They do two things. B vitamins or a B complex will help foods to be absorbed and the second thing it will do is it will give you more energy and strengthen your system so you will have feel more energy that you have in your yourself and your body will be much more capable of the absorption of the values from food.